Uh, with 2018 now uh, kicking off, we had the Golden Globes this past weekend. Mm. Everyone's and, favorite uh, award show. Yeah, because everybody gets drunk and it's a good time. And uh, you tweeted about how it doesn't really mean much. Oh, never has. <laughs> well, this year wasn't very fun either. You know, uh, there's it's a very we've been talking about it on the podcast. Go back on our uh, SoundCloud or on YouTube. Yeah, southcloud.com slash nostalgia pod. And you can find our conversations about uh, sexual harassment, sexual abuse in Hollywood, and how it's changing the landscape. It really changed the the tenor of this award show, uh, the Golden Globes. Myers, who said that he was like the first dog shot into, shot into outer space for the uh, award show season because basically everybody's watching, seeing how are you going to handle this? And what did you think? Did you get to watch the show at all? No, I didn't. I didn't watch it. I, I tuned in, followed along, uh, you know, as people uh, people won and uh, you know memes happened and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's really the first televised award show. It's the first one that you know normal people really tune into, of course. You know, I'm, uh, but that being said, with the you know the Me Too presence and uh, just the general you know air in the room for the industry you know with spacey and weinstein like you said it's uh it, it kind of t- made the globes have to be about something other than the lighthearted uh drunkenness and you know uh you know tomfoolery that you kind of expect from the show so when you <laughs> take that away what are the golden globes really because i mean everyone you know wore black in solidarity and all the dudes wore the pins and i mean everyone said the right things but it really you know what really matters is what happens next. I think Denzel Washington said that on the carpet, you know, it's about, you know, what happens a year from now is there actually going to be any real change. So, Mm -hmm. you know, everyone did what they had to do, but I don't know. I just, it it didn't seem like it was anything that you missed out on. If you didn't watch Uh, Seth Meyers being a, you know, straight, straight white male, uh, predictably got out of the way at the show as a host. He's very, uh, uh, small presence by design. And um, I, the best thing about his monologue was when he had uh, people do the his bit from his show, the joke yeah. Seth can't tell, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, ultimately, and because the awards don't matter in terms of prestige, nor are they much of a predictor for the Oscars, I mean, you didn't miss anything if you didn't watch. Yeah, I totally agree. Seth Meyers was in a tough spot. I think getting out of the way was probably the best movie he could have done. And the, the speeches took up most of the night. You know, Oprah's speech is being lauded um, and dissected today. And it, it was a good speech for sure. Um, but overall, just the presence of the Golden Globes and the, the, the tenor of the night was different. And that's the way it's going to be, I think, for the foreseeable future until kind of the dust settles on this. Uh, you know, like Oprah said, there's like a new dawn uh, on the horizon. So uh, definitely going to be changing uh, over the next year or two. In terms of the who actually won the awards, um, TV, literally nothing new. Hands Made Tale, Sterling K. Brown, and Big Little Lies pretty much dominated. Yep. Um, for the movie, so this is the thing. You talked about how Golden Globes just doesn't matter. It's in a weird spot because we're talking about movies that have already been awarded you know, for the Emmys. And then the, goal, the uh, Academy Awards are coming up. And we don't know anything about these yet. Like who's going to win, who's his favorite, especially this year, where there's not really a clear favorite. What do you make of three billboards doing so well with a uh, best supporting actor, best actress, and best drama? Yeah, it, it, I kind of alluded to this uh, last week. We did our best movies uh, pod, which check that out. It's not got a complex nostalgia pod. Uh, but I was kind of have I have reservations about three billboards as a uh, best picture contender and uh, awards season force. So I was kind of unnerved just because I don't want it to win compared to the other films. But again, I have to remind myself, it doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily mean anything, yada, yada. And what, what I keep hanging my head, hat on is that the Hollywood Foreign Press, very few members are also in the Academy, like the Producers Guild, Writers Guild, and the, the Screen Actors Guild. Those awards are better predictors. So I'm like, let me wait and see what happens with the other ones before I start getting mad. But yeah, in terms of the wins, I mean, I think Francis McDormand and Sam Rockwell are pretty easy uh, cases. I, that's not something I expect to go away. But uh, Three People has got a screenplay award, which uh, I mean, yeah. for a movie, if you want to nominate stuff, for, uh, you want to award stuff for that film, I think the screenplay is the clear weakness. 
uh, especially at the end, as I've said before. So that was, that kind of uh, struck me as they're just kind of, you know, just throwing stuff at it. Mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, Guillermo del Toro won Best Director. I really don't think he's going to win the, the Academy Award. So I don't know. It, it was weird. Yeah, it was definitely weird. And also <clears throat> his reaction to uh, del Toro uh, winning that award, especially be, when they, they call his name for the nomination after Natalie Portman's like, the all male, you know, yeah, uh, all best, male nominees, best right. nominees, yeah. So, um, definitely weird night. And, and your man Gary Oldman winning for his portrayal of uh, Winston Churchill, and then yep. Twitter with, with the receipts pulling up the uh, yeah. interview he did like five years ago, saying the Golden Globes don't fucking matter. So <laughs> Gary Oldman himself said it last night didn't matter in terms of landscape at all, just more of like the tear right. of Hollywood in general right now. Right. Also, like Oldman has some bad stuff in his past in terms of you know uh domestic issues nothing like mm-hmm. you know criminal per se but you know some bad things ha- he, he's done anyway and then even franco had some shady uh sus shit in his past too so it's like the two male uh you know uh lead actor wins you know have, have the the stink on them still so no it's nothing's perfect but do you think Franco should have let uh what's his name talk uh was John Weiss or whatever his name is or Weisso, the guy from uh, to- uh, Tommy Weisso? Tommy Weisso, yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, Tommy's <laughs> such a weird guy that I can kind of understand. Like when I saw uh, Franco, uh, you know, like nod him off basically, mm-hmm. uh, and block the mic, I was like, all right, that's fine. Like I don't know, I wasn't offended like everyone else was. <laughs> I-, I mean, I wasn't offended by it, but uh. I definitely was was in, I was interested to see what he was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, Tanya Harding got a shout out from a- Allison Janney. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah. Well, if you see I Tanya, you might be more sympathetic to Tanya Harding as sure. a person, as a character. Um, great win for Allison Janney. I think she's very deserving, and it's gonna be her, Lori Metcalf from Lady Birds. Quite quite the race. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, for the TV side. Like you said, they're either playing catch up with like This Is Us and The Handmaid's Tale or because of, you know, when the Golden Globes take place, they're getting their the first look at shows that were past yeah. the Emmy cutoff. And you can see that with the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which won twice. Yep. Um, so they, you know, that is their the full Hollywood foreign press is, you know, jumping out of their seats to award somebody first. And that's basically what happened there. Right. But uh, from what we know, it's still uh, well deserved. I would like to watch that show at some point. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, I'm going to pay more attention to the uh, Guild uh, winners. Uh, Logan got a uh, Best Adapted Screenplay nomination from the Writers Guild, which is really cool. I'm for that, dude. I, I hope uh, I hope that they win. As I was saying, I hope that they get some, some love for that movie. Um, but yeah, the Golden Globes didn't matter.